flash-based camcorder system. With a camcorder like this one that uses flash-based memory, I can open the door, take that memory out, plug the memory into a card reader such as this one, and copy the video over to my computer. It takes about 30 seconds to copy an entire skydive over to my computer from this card. If I were using a tape-based camcorder, such as this one, it would take, on average, at least seven minutes to pull the tape out, copy the data over to the computer, and begin editing. So that's why I recommend using flash-based media for nonlinear editing. Now I'm going to insert the flash card that contains Danielle's video files into the computer. And when I insert that, the computer has a program running in the background called Workspace Macro Pro, which is automatically listening for when I insert a flash card. As soon as I insert that card, it starts copying the MPEG files from the card over to the hard drive. Once this application gets finished copying those files over to the hard drive, it's going to pause for a moment and ask me to change the name of the folder. And I'm going to change the name of that folder to the student's name, which is Danielle. Now Workspace Pro is automatically opening up Vegas Production Assistant. And it uses Vegas Production Assistant to bring those video files into Vegas Pro for us. Now the Vegas Pro is open, all those files are ready to go. Everything you've seen so far has been hands-free. It's all due to a Workspace Pro macro program that I have running in the background. There's also another application that we're going to be using that helps us out with this type of functions, and it's called Production Assistant. Both of these applications have trial versions available in the Extras folder of your DVD if you'd like to check them out and see if they work for you. Let's get into our editing.